Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you a quick look at this uh, 348P telescope. It's a Necromat from Zvipoli. It's around $220, something like that, I think. Uh, it's very good. I tried it many times so far. It's a really uh, pretty reliable Necromat. Uh, this is normally made for visual, but I bought it for astrophotography, for nebulas and stuff. I used it even for broadband imaging, and can do that as well. Oops. Uh, have the focuser, dual speed focuser, which means it can go out like this. And then you can fine tune it smoothly with this one. You have to put the finder scope, the dovetail attachment as well. We have this one to open the aperture. This telescope, all metal, nothing plastic here. And you can see this is the first modification that I did. Basically, I cut a piece of foam and put it here because apparently, as we won't, it did not coat the optics with did not blacken the edges, so the stars have some weird spikes going on. And this will get rid of it if you put it here. It is 102 millimeters outer diameter and 85 millimeters near diameter. If you want to make uh, one of them, one of it. And it's pretty good. The focus is very smooth to operate. Uh, without flat, I use it without a flatner, but there is a. I don't think there's a flatner, but it's what as we want has flatness. I think that will work with this. The focus is about this point. Uh, without a flatner. With flatner, it, it will focus inwards more. It is 90 millimeters. Uh, this do this do sheet can be screwed screwed out. You basically screw the string here and it will, it will go up. And uh, this, I uh, believe, for beginners, it's uh, a good start. With the SV231 French Killer, it works pretty well. I will put some images at the end of this video to, to show you that it works. Yeah, this is Vita 1 basically it's a chromatic aberration filter. So this will lock the focuser. And you have adjustments at the focuser as well, at three points. So you adjust the, the angle of the focuser. Mine was a bit out when I bought it, so I had to adjust it to be straight. Not, not a big deal. And uh, this is two sheet obviously, so like if, if there's the moon out, it won't, it won't uh, uh, bother, bother your images. And uh, perfect for beginners. Uh, obviously, it is not the best for photography. For photography, an apochromatic is the way to go. But if you're on budget, you can't go wrong with this, I believe, with the French, French filter, especially, which, which I highly recommend the French color filter. But like the Pleiades. The very very bright stars will not will even have chromatic aberration with this one because I checked. So don't expect it to have no chromatic aberration. It's never gonna happen. It's an acronym after all. So you have to treat it with how it is. So it's uh, obviously expected to have some, some chromatic aberration, but processing uh, like masking the stars and stuff will get rid of many uh chromatic aberrations that you will have. So it's, uh, it's not a big deal, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I bought it from the SV Bono website, just a few curious, but there are Express and other websites that sell it. Basically, I get it from the SV Bono directly. This is metal as well, it screws on. This is a bit fiddly, because sometimes you don't catch the thread well, but it's not a big deal, to be honest. Uh, the, the lens is removable as well, because I tried. Uh, you can remove this one and unscrew the lens from, from behind. And that's it, baby. And this one is rotatable, which is very handy, especially for Altes Mons. Because Altes Mons have field rotation. Every some, every some time I do this, I turn to, to counteract the field rotation. And I use uh, narrow bands. The narrow band will remove all the chromatic aberration. So you don't have, if you're going to use this for nebulae, you don't have to worry about uh, 
about the medical beige, what's it will remove it. And I was told the UHC filter as well will remove the aberration. And this is only Facebook. Facebook. And uh, basically that's it. Let me know what you think and uh, put some comments down below if you have any questions. And I will put some images that I did after this video. Thanks guys. Oh,